Hi guys, welcome to my channel Made by Mackenzie, and we have 10 days to prepare for a market. That is absolutely crazy. Um, I am very good at checking the website that I go to for markets, and either I completely missed this market, or they posted it, <coughs> excuse me, they posted it late, which I think seems a little bit more plausible that they posted it late. Not that they were late posting. What am I trying to say? They most likely sent a personal email to those people who had done the market before seeing if they wanted to come back and then just recently posted it out to the general public that they still had extra spots. And I saw it and I submitted my application. I was like, hey, I know, you know, we only have a few days, you know, like not even two weeks until the market. Do you happen to have any spots available? And I was actually convinced that they were gonna say no, that all their spots were filled up and it was just an error kind of thing. But no, they said yes, I paid my booth fee and so I have 10 days to prepare. Absolutely crazy. So the goal is to not panic <laughs> and to just do what I can. I still have a lot of stuff left over from my last market because my last market was a lot of high ticket items that sold and so a lot of my smaller ones were still there so I only have like a few things that I need to like restock and then I have a few new things that I'm bringing to my market which I'm super excited about. A lot of them are going to be from my last uh, pattern video part two so go check out that but it's going to be like all those safari animals, which I absolutely love making. They're super, super cute. And they're in that $15, $20 range, which is what my goal is right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get a pen and paper and I'm going to write down everything that I want to take to this market. And then what I need to do is I need to go through my yarn stash because I know there are some colors that I'm missing. Like, I am completely out of white. I am going to need white. And I am completely out of dark gray. I'm going to need dark gray. And a few other colors that I'm pretty sure are low that I will run out of during these 10 days. So the goal is to get everything probably from the store tomorrow. I'll have the list done today. I'll go to the store tomorrow to get everything that I need. And then the goal is to not go to the store at all until after the market so that I know what I need to restock for the next one. Because the next one I have is at the end of April. So I have plenty of time, but let's, let's get, do that. Let's get a pen and paper and write down what I want to do. Okay, I think I have everything written down. I did go ahead and mark off something that I um, did finish up, uh, just to kind of make myself feel better that I am marking stuff off. <laughs> um, just, yeah, like I said, just for motivation. <laughs> um, but, so, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I have 34 things written down here, but some of them say like times two, and some of them actually don't have like pop tarts right there. I don't have a number. It's just like how many I can make. So I have some pop tarts that I started a week ago or so. So I have all their fronts done. So I have, okay, how many do I have? All right, two cookies and cream. Oh, these are the backs for the cookies and cream. So I just need to sew that together. So I have two cookies and cream. I have three chocolate and I have three strawberries that I just need to do their backs. And then I also want to make the wild berry one, which is with my velvet Malore. Is that what it's called? Velvet Malore? Mahogany? I can't remember the name of the, the velvet one that I like. But velvet 
burgundy plum i was totally off the burgundy plum is what i use for my wild berry and i double it up and sometimes triple the yarn to make it the same size as this one so i mean that's already halfway done for the most part halfway done there and then i have I have two of the bunnies in a dress done. I have one in pink and one in purple. And this purple one was a review of the Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby yarn. Go check out that video. So I have two. I did want to try and make a third maybe in a blue dress because girls like blue too. We like blue dresses as you can tell. I love blue. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do another one in blue. I do still have to do the ones in the overalls. So I still have to work on that. Okay, sorry, someone was trying to call me. I did finish all of my little backpack buddies that I have made so far. So I have them on their little keychains. I've got two ice cream cones. I've got one pretzel. I have four of the killer whales. I have two of these cute little fat leggy frogs, and this is my pattern, so if you're interested in this pattern, let me know and I'll do a, do a little video on it. I have one of the small triceratops in the worsted weight, and then one in the adorable yarn from Hobby Lobby, super, super cute. And then I have two penguin keychains, or backpack buddies right now, and I have two of the small little whales. Uh, the goal is to get a few more. Oh, I do have a few more. Okay, I forgot. I forgot about my little stand. So I went to the dollar store a little while ago. And I found these wire. It is a paper towel holder. And so I bought two of them and then I just put them on top of each other and have this little tape hiding or holding it together. I'm going to put like some cute um, ribbon or something around it to hide it. But this is going to be my little, my little stand for my backpack buddies right now. And I got these little hooks off Amazon. So I also have two chocolate chip cookie ones and then I have two more of the Triceratops on on this little stand. So I'm super proud of this little stand. Super, super proud. Because the ones on Amazon, they're, they're kind of expensive. And I just, I did not know how I was going to set up my booth with those. And so I saw this for $2 and I was like, yes, let me, let's do that and see how it goes. And then we can always change things from there. Because if I need to, I could go get another one of these and like attach it to the top of it so I could have like two tiers. But I'm I'm pretty proud of myself for DIYing this. I'm pretty proud. So anyways, that's what I have going on right now. And so now I'm going to do my yarns. I need to go through all of my yarns and see what I have and make a list of the stores I need to go to and what colors I need to get tomorrow so that I don't forget anything. And then if you guys have any suggestions of how to better organize your yarn so you know like what you have, because what I have on my shelf here isn't all that I have. I have a few in like a box underneath my little shelf over here. And on the outside of the box, I do have like a sticky note that says what's inside of it. But then I also have another box that's full of like my sweet snuggles that does not have anything written on it. And it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. I don't know. So let me know what, how you guys keep your yarns organized so that you don't go to the store and buy something that you already have at home. So let me know. But anyways, that is everything for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I am at Joann's right now in their yarn section. I left my list at home of all the yarn that I needed to get, so I have to do it from memory. Um, I think I've got what I need that they have. I know for a fact that they don't have the dark teal, which is what I wanted, 
So that's disappointing that they don't have that. I'll just have to use what I have at home. Because I still have a whole skein. But anyways. So I got a lot. I have that is not mine. Looks like a child put that in my basket. That is not what was in my basket. So I got quite a few of the cream. I have three white. I have the almond. So I have all those like neutral colors that I needed, which is great. Um, but anyways, I'll have to probably go to a different Joann's or just kind of make it work. So but anyways, we're on our way to Michael's now. All right. So I am at Michael's and right next door to Michael's is an office depot, which I actually forgot that I needed to go to because I didn't bring my list. I'm so glad that that office depot was next to this Michael's to remind me that I needed to go. But I'm at Michael's and I am very disappointed in their selection here today. They did have this aquamarine, I think is what it's called. This one was on my list, but I had other ones on my list and they are just not here. So I'm really kind of, kind of disappointed, but I did find this cute little basket that's 50% off that I'm going to put some of my bunnies in at my market. So not a complete waste, but still just a little disappointed, a little disappointed. But anyways, I will see you guys back at the house. Hey guys, it is now a Sunday, so there is seven days left before the market. These past couple of days have been kind of crazy, so I haven't had a lot of time to record. And I've just been kind of crocheting like here and there kind of sporadically throughout the day because uh, we just had a lot of stuff that was going on. We had, I was looking at my list that I have, and there are some things on this list that I wrote down um, kind of like in hopes that I could get to it. But if I didn't get to it, I wasn't going to be like super upset about it. Like one of the things on here is like the Darcy Deer pattern. And that pattern is a big pattern and I like making it. It's a good like showstopper kind of pattern. It's a big one. He comes out to about like, I don't know, this big. He's a, it's a pretty big boy. But you know, I have to charge like $60 for him to account for all my time and the materials that go into him. And so I just figured like if I don't get to that one, that's okay. Cause like I said, it, it'll take me probably around four or five hours to make him. And I think my time could be used, you know, making some of these other things. But if I get around to it, you know, wonderful. If not, I'm not going to be like really upset about it. I just wrote it down just in case. So anyways, well, let me show you kind of the stuff that I was able to get, get done throughout these last couple of days. So the first thing that I did was I made, come here big boy, another one of these jumbo stingrays at my last market it sold it was the second thing that sold couldn't believe it so i made another one so i made a second or another one and see if it sells as quickly as last time if it sells as quickly as last time then i think i need to be bringing more than one to the event so i have my jumbo stingray for 50 dollars and then i decided that i was going to start making some of the smaller stingrays again I used to make these last year at markets, uh, probably before I started doing videos. Um, and they were really popular during the spring and the summer and then during the fall and the winter they kind of they kind of died off and I really wasn't selling selling them. So I kind of stopped making them. But now um, spring and summer is here and so I'm ready to start making them again. So I have them in quite a few different colors. I still need to add the spots on a lot of them. But I, I'm going to make at least two of them in this teal uh, aquamarine color. I made one in the blue, which is really pretty. I already have two pretty much done of the gray. have the pink. Oops, that needs to be tucked in. And then I also have a purple. These purple one's really pretty too. So the goal is to have at least two of each color. If I can get three of some of the colors, I think I'm going to be really happy because I think these are going to sell really, really well, especially because of that stingray in North Carolina that's having, uh, that's pregnant and going to be having babies really soon, Charlotte. So I think these are going to be really popular. People know about Charlotte or if they just like the little stingrays in general. Okay, going on about all of my other kind of aquatic things I was working on, I did make another one of my brown and green turtles. 
The goal is to make another one, so I'll have two of each of my turtle types, my my normal turtle type, turtle types, not my like specialty ones like my sunflower and my rose, but like my regular, my regular ones. So I have another one of those. I have two of these rainbow ones done. So that's super exciting that I have these two done. So super happy about that. Also, if you didn't check out my safari pack uh, or my pattern review video where I spent like $50 on patterns in part two, there was one a safari pack and in it there was a monkey. So I made another monkey. So I have two monkeys done. Happy, happy with that. And then I have two of these small bears done. And I made a big bear that still needs his felt nose and eyebrows done. So I made a big bear. And then I also started making a lot of these small little jelly bean bunnies. So I have this one. I'm only going to have it in four different colors. So I have that color. I have this light blue. I have this teal. And then I have this brown one and this brown one might be my favorite because it just reminds me of like a chocolate Easter bunny like those little chocolate Easter bunnies I just think it's absolutely adorable so that is all I have right now I do have a one of my regular size Snorlaxes oops sorry that is almost complete he's in pieces out on my couch so I just need to sew all of his pieces together but I'll have two of this size done and then I have my bigger size. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make another Snorlax, another smaller one, so that I can have three small and one big and have four to total. That is my goal probably for the end of today is to have both those Snorlaxes finished. And then I'll have to work on my bigger Ivysaur Bulbasaur. This one right here that I made with the Posh yarn I think he might be mine. I think this one might be one that I want to keep myself. I don't know. Along with this, like, I don't know, this little Pikachu. I really do like him. I've been having a hard time bringing them to market one because the Pikachu needs his um, red cheeks on him. And then I still need to add the details on this Ivysaur or Bulbasaur. But I just, I really like this one. And I think, I don't know, if I, I probably should sell it but I also really want to keep it. So we'll see what happens if I actually sell it or not. So but anyways, but that is everything that I have going on right now. So I will keep you posted with everything else that I get done this week in preparation for this market. All right. Hey guys, it's Monday and I just got some Amazon packages. Super excited. Let's see. One of the first things I wanted to show you that I'm super excited about. Can you guys see? It's a 20 pound box of polyfill 20 pounds this is the biggest box i've ever ordered super excited about that um i ordered it because you know it's the cheapest if you buy it in bulk but i didn't quite figure out like where exactly i'm going to put this because once i open it like all the air is going to come out and it's just going to kind of puff up kind of like a, a cloud <laughs> So I'm gonna have to figure out like, do I need to separate it into like two different boxes and like try and stuff it back down and close it? I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. But then I also got, I realized that I had like no brown bags for my market. So I got some brown bags. Oh, this is taped. It's taped really, really well. There we go. Is it written on this and I just opened it really for no reason? Okay, yes. This is my 16 by 6 by 12 size. Just like the big one. Okay, yeah. So I've got like my big one for my big plushies. Since last time I sold a lot of my big plushies, I needed to get more big bags, which is exciting because I haven't been able or I've I haven't had the opportunity to restock the big bags yet. And then these ones look like tall, skinny ones. Sorry. 
These do not say on the side the size. But they're kind of like medium, like the normal kind of medium size bag. So this will fit a lot of like my $15 items and my like $20 items. Of those. And then this time I'm making more smaller things. Like I'll have my backpack buddies and a lot more kind of like $5 items for this market. And so I got smaller kind of bags just for like, if someone only, you know, like a kid only wants to buy or can only buy like a $5 item, um, they still get like a nice little, nice little bag. Oh no, my timer. Hey guys, it is Monday night, so I wanted to kind of go through with you guys all the things I was able to get done today. Um, I feel like things are going pretty well. I think things are chugging along nice and smoothly and I'm not overwhelmed or anxious or feel like I'm not going to get all these things done. But I think things are going really well. So the first thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to make some jellyfishes. But I don't like jellyfishes where you have to tie the tentacles on or, you know, there's, they say they're no so, but you end up like making the tentacles and then you have to tie them on. I don't really like that. I think like tucking in all those tails is kind of annoying. So I decided to make my own little jellyfish pattern that's completely no so, no tie, super, um, you know, easy pattern that I don't have to worry about tying in all those tentacles. So I made one in the Big Twist Posh. Actually, sorry, that's a lie. I made the brunette one first. I made the brunette one first and he came out great. I really, really liked him. And then I made him in the Big Twist Posh and I am really liking him, if I do say my, so myself. I think they're really good and then it solves that problem with, how, with um, having to tie in your tails. You don't have to do that. So keep a lookout. I'm going to be posting, this one will probably be my next pattern that I'll post here on YouTube in the next couple of weeks. Weeks. So if you're looking for a completely no sew, no tie uh, jellyfish pattern, be on the lookout for that. And the other thing that I got done were my little bunnies in overalls. I have two of them practically done. They need noses, but yes, two in the overalls. This was the basket I was telling you guys about. Super, super cute. Got it at Michael's. I did put in, whoops, uh, some like tea towels down underneath the line, lining to just be able to prop up the bunnies a little bit higher out of the basket. But I think that is going to be super, super cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to put these kinds of bunnies in the bunny basket or if I'm gonna do these peeps. This pattern is from Rose and Lily. These little peeps bunnies, which are super cute. I made a couple of these last year, uh, but then I did not end up going to the market I had planned because it was a scam. So that was depressing. So I just ended up uh, giving them like away to, to family. So I have one in pink I made, one in yellow, one in purple, and then this one might be my favorite one, but the little peach one, super, super cute. Love that one. And then I also finished up some little cows. You need eyebrows, but cows. I think the cows are gonna be um, super popular as always. So I have two cows <clears throat> done, but I've just kind of looking at my list of some of the things and I just, I've decided not to do my otters or my penguins. I think otters are on the way out and people are just not as excited about the otters. So I still have maybe one or two left over from my last market. So we'll see how it goes. And then the penguins, I know I have at least four penguins. And so, I don't know, penguins just might be that kind of more of a fall winter item. So we'll see what happens in this next market if the penguins sell out or not. And if they, they don't sell out, that's fine. If they do, then I will make a few more, but I won't make as many as I did like in winter. 
but yeah looking at this I think I'm going to be able to make maybe another one of my big ones right now um, I am going to start on the Bulbasaur I don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight because it's like 11 o'clock but I'm going to start with the bulb and the leaves and then I'll finish his head and body tomorrow but that is everything else going on right now and like I said I feel I feel great. I think that everything is going really smoothly with this organization and just, I feel like everything I have planned to do is like nice and spread out and I'm not really stressing and I think things are going good. So super excited about this market, but I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is now Thursday, two days before the market. And so I figured I'd go ahead and start setting up my display because I did have a lot of new things that I didn't have a space for and so I was trying to make sure that they had space and that it didn't look too cluttered but I think I'm at the point where I need to reevaluate my setup because things are just like over in this section over here they're kind of they're kind of a little a little color cluttered a little bit too many things there so I'm gonna have to try and figure out how I'm gonna do that. But anyways, I'm still super excited about this market. I didn't ask to be put up against a wall, so hopefully I'll be lucky and they happen to just put me up against a wall because that would be really helpful. But if not, then this will be the way that I set it up. So let me show you guys that. Let's start over here. So here's my checkout stand and I have my flamingo swans and some of my big standing hippos. And then over here is my little bunny section. And then my little jelly beans. I need to put a sign there for my jelly beans. But here's the section that I'm not very, very happy about. I think there's just too much stuff in it. But I was kind of able to get everything to fit. So down here is all like my forest and farms. I've got my, my horses, my farmers, my cows, sheep, and my hedgehogs. And then going up, we kind of go into more of the safari and zoo animals. So we got our monkey, our tiger, our panda, our small giraffe, Zebra, rhino, moose, bear, two different koalas, a elephant, and a lion, and then my little, some of my leggy frogs. And then going up to the top, we have some of my most expensive items up on top. We have my XL Snorlax, my regular Snorlaxes, a small Snorlax, and Jumbo Giraffe, uh, Bulbasaur, and my bear in a blue raincoat, and then my smaller one you saw down here on the table. And then moving over here, we have our hippos and otters and little snake there with my backpack buddies and Kirby. And then moving over here, these don't go here. Let me move those. Those were extra. Then we start moving into our dinos, dragons, and other reptiles. So we have our big striped dinos, the medium striped dino, and then our triceratops and then some extra leggy frogs. And then moving into our aquatic section, we have our small turtles and small, sorry, small turtles and small whales. One of my big killer whales, the regular sized turtles, the big dolphin, big uh, sea turtle and big stingray. And then my small stingrays, squids and mermaid. Moving over into our bird section right there. I'm gonna get another one that has a yellow one with like a hat on it. I think it'll be really cute. And then lastly, we have our food section, chicken nuggets, our peeps, pickles and pop tarts are going to go right here. I'm going to change that sign to say pickles and pop tarts. And then up here we have our of the donut and watermelon. So I'm pretty happy with how it is so far. Like I said, over there, I am not entirely happy with that. But as things sell, then I'll be able to move things around. So I still need to tag a lot of the things that need tags on them. And then just to make sure that everything is entered into my square app correctly and the quantities are all correct and up to date so i do have to do that but other than that i am super happy with how everything turned out and it's it's gonna look really really good but thank you guys so much for watching my markets prep and setup video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll show you guys how it went at market in the next video thanks bye